So I got this new helmet and decided it would be a good time to show you guys the best motor vlogging setup. We will make this short and simple. We will go from this to this. Parts that we'll be using. Action camera of your choice, camera mounts, a hex key, microphone, microphone adapter, small wind socks, and assortment of different tapes. All links in the description below. So the very first step would be to somehow mount the camera to the helmet. Now I like when everything looks clean and I can't stand it when people mount their GoPros to the side or to the top of their helmet. Not only does it look goofy, but your helmet becomes less aerodynamic. Now the problem with mounting the camera to the center of the helmet is that almost all helmets have very intricate curves up front which make it almost impossible to use these generic action camera mounts. So I decided to use this right deck mount which matches the shape of this helmet perfectly. And you might say, but I don't have an X14. Does does right tech have a mount for my helmet? Well, thank you for asking. Most likely we do as we have a large expanding catalog of custom mounts for a lot of popular helmets. It will be the very first link in the description below. Now before applying the mount to your helmet, make sure to wipe away any oils that may be on the surface. For that I like to use some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. Unbag the mount from its packaging. Before peeling back the tape, make sure to test fit it so you know the proper location. In this case, the bottom edge lines up with the bottom curve. Peel back the the protective film and place it lightly on the helmet. After you're happy with the location, apply a fair amount of force and hold it in place for around a minute. It's recommended that you let the mount sit at room temperature for around 12 hours so properly adheres. A good test to make sure your camera is not going to fall off when you're riding is to lift up the helmet by the mount over your bed and give it a good shake. If the mount can support the weight of the helmet, it will most definitely hold your action camera with no problems. Now in order to get the best angle, I decided to also install this fully adjustable kit that is specific for this helmet. It provides everything you need to properly mount the camera at the best angle. The only thing that is required is a hex key to tighten down the low profile bolt. After that has been completed, congratulations, you have successfully mounted your action camera to your helmet and the hardest part is done. Now it's time to run our microphone. I like to use this Sony ECM CS3 because I've never had any problems with it. It's a stereo microphone so it does have a left and right channel. That is perfect for me because that allows me to choose the better sounding channel in post production. If you're using Premiere, right click on the track and select the channel that sounds better. I like to remove this clip because I'm not going to be clipping it to anything. Take your wind socks and tape them right around the microphone like so. Now take everything out of your helmet so it's easier to work on. And be careful when pulling the camera out, it could be an expensive accident. Tell me how I know. I like to mount the microphone right where the right cheek pad begins and run the excess cable throughout the helmet making sure that the cable ends right where the mount is located. I secured all the wires with strips of duct tape and the most tedious part is done. Now since I ran a chin curtain, I decided to make a little cutout for the cable and it worked perfectly. Put back everything in the exact same order reversed and you're ready to add your microphone adapter. The only reason why I still use a Hero 4 is because the microphone adapter is tiny and is almost invisible compared to to the new ones and that is what I'll be using. I used some 3M sticky tape to attach the adapter to the mount and gave it a little twist so the cable is not all over the place. And just like that we got ourselves a perfect motor vlogging setup. Remember all the links will be provided in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Many other videos are coming out soon and we will see you in the next one.